Yes, indeedy. This is something I have explained before, but it seems to perplex people. I have talked endlessly over the years about uh, divine simplex lenses with low element count because glass is evil. You got to have glass for lenses, right? Well, glass is not only a capacitor, it's also an insulator. Glass is an insulator. You know, you stick those on poles. It's also a capacitor. You could look at a video called MIT, the, di the dissectable capacitor showing the electrostatic or dielectric charge is actually in the glass itself. So uh, there is an issue, especially with overcorrected uh, normal prime lenses, which is between 28 millimeters to 600 millimeters, basic, or anything above that. You see, I've got a little chart here, and I've got a link below for this uh, chart, and I would like you to take a look at this chart. Because it's important, because people are seeing in contradiction, like, your A doesn't agree with your B. And I was like, oh, yes, it does. You know, you can't, you know what a, hum hum <laughs> a homunculus is? A homunculus is basically like a, 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 uh, a pumped up little person. You can't say midget anymore, you got to say little person. <laughs> a homunculus, right? So it's like, well, you know, that person in his own class, kind of like they have, you know, boxing, a <laughs> You got heavyweight class, and I don't watch boxing. I hate that sort of crap. A homunculus. You can't take like a beefed up little person and compare it against, you know, like a Lou Ferrigno or Schwarzenegger, right? Two different class. Same is true of lenses. So people are like, you know, you're always talking about low element count prime lenses, and here you are praising these damn lenses that got 24 elements in it, like 70 to 200. It's a different class of lenses. It's like, well, you know. Yeah, oh, I don't know why you're saying that's a great... A prime lens is bought for a damn reason. I have bitched endlessly about over-engineered prime lenses at 28 millimeters and above. You see, there are three different classes, okay? Three classes are zoom lenses, making up two classes of lenses, generic zoom lenses and professional zoom lenses, 70 to 200, 14 to 24, you know, uh, 70 to 300, blah, blah, blah. Second class of lenses, wide angle primes. Anything below 28 millimeters. That is what has really improved in the past few decades. Not generic, uh, general, classic prime lenses, which is 28 millimeters and higher. Okay, so you got three classes of lenses. Zoom lenses, wide primes, and zooms. Zooms, wide primes, classic primes. Classic primes, wide primes, and zooms. You know, obviously I could shoot a 70 to 200 at 85 millimeters. You know, praising that lens endlessly, like the new Tamron, which is 23 elements, I cannot compare that against the same uh, focal length, 85 millimeter, on a classic prime lens which has, you know, four, five, six elements, depending on whether it's a Zeiss or a Nikkor 8514 or 8518, um, like a D-series, not the newest ones, which are over-engineered, by the way. Primes exist for a reason. They are a different class of lens. You know some of the best hardcore professional photographers on Earth are like using some 60-year-old lenses? Like using some old Leica, old contacts lenses, contacts lenses from the 1960s? He's like, well, I thought lenses have improved in the past few decades. Only some classes of lenses have improved. The classes of lenses that have really improved are zoom, len zoom lenses, 20, 30 years. Sucked. They sucked. Not all of them, but basically 95% of them. They sucked. Wide-angle primes. Serious improvements. I've had to add a lot more glass, but wide-angle primes have gotten a muy uh, bueno, right? Yeah, I don't speak Spanish. There we go. In Russian, would say, очень хороший. Zooms have gotten better in the past few decades. Wide primes, 28 millimeters below. The wider it gets, the better it's gotten in the past few years. Lenses that have not improved, they've actually de-evolved, and the reason I'll tell you in a second they've de-evolved is because of button-sniffing assholes, are classic primes, 28 millimeters and above. And the reason they've de-evolved is of, because of button-sniffing idiots. And like, it's got some chromatic aberration in it. Okay, add some more elements. It's got some distortion and vignetting. We're going to add some more elements to fix that crap. Um... Um, you know, corner to corner resolution is not perfect at f2.0. Okay, we're going to add some... As, so what they've done is, yes, all these lens companies, which they want to pander to their customers, 
but this, the customer is an idiot. Let me repeat that. The customer is a moron, a dumbass, because they don't know that everything is a trade-off. It's kind of like someone saying, I like filet mignon, but when I, well, when I chew it, it gets stuck in my teeth. And, and, and when I chew on the filet mignon, you know, grandma got one of her tooth got loosened up and fell out chewing on the filet. Well, we can process that crap for you. You know, we'll stick it in a grinder. You know, same stuff, McDonald's. You, you see that? Ever seen a meat grinder and it spits that crap out? Look like worms, you know? You like lump it together. Okay, we just ground up your filet mignon. And then you sizzle it. Yeah, I didn't get my stuck in my teeth anymore. It don't loosen up grandma's teeth anymore either. Yeah, but now the filet mignon is not a filet mignon anymore. Kind of tastes the same, not really. Doesn't have the same consistency, doesn't have the same flavor. You processed it. Conventional classic prime lenses have de evolved. Okay? Zooms have evolved. Wide primes, ultra wide, 28 and below, have uh, evolved. So those two have gotten better. Classic prime lenses, <whistles> boom, right in the shitter. Because of button sniffers, because of people that like, I don't like filet mignon, I mean, it gets stuck in my teeth. Same sort of people. You know, people that bitch about everything. All these lens companies have been listening to these uh, these idiots. Like, Okay, we're going to fix that. But the only way we can fix that is by adding more glass. And we're going to fix that by adding more glass. So we're going to fix that by adding more glass. Look at the link below on this chart. If you do not understand this chart, you do not understand it, and you ain't never going to get it. You see, I have not contradicted myself in both praising a high element count zoom lens and constantly, repeatedly, over and over and over and over and over again, praising low element count primes because there are three different classes of lenses. These are for convenience, generally speaking, also for speed. Convenience speeds. Convenience is speed, by the way. This is for I want the best frigging image and I'm not in a hurry. You know, it's like, pose it that way, baby. Yeah. You see? Convenience and speed. This is McDonald's territory. Okay? This is that fancy restaurant where the uh, schmuck with the, uh, the bleached... Uh, Tuxedo, like, hello, sir, I might wait on you and your wife and take you over to the table. You know, pops the cork on the wine and lets let you sniff the cork. That is what these are for. Down here, classic. Do you get the analogy now? There is a reason why someone buys a prime lens. That is the reason. The ambiance, the rendering, the micro contrast. By the way, if you're a black and white shooter, if you're a black and white shooter, micro contrast here, Socks. <laughs> it also basically, except for some exceptions, it basically sucks in wide primes too. <laughs> the screen, it is, uh, slipped off the screen there, you know? Isn't that cute? Oh, I hate iPads, by the way. Did I mention I hate iPads? I got two iPads. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with an iPad? What is wrong with a freaking iPad? I don't understand. Well, actually, I do understand. It's because Steve Jobs is uh, was an asshole. That's the answer to that one. There we go. Took me forever to get back there. So please understand this chart below, okay? Classic Primes. <sighs> Telephone. Do you understand me now? I hope I made that really, really clear because I've been having people, especially uh, like uh, over on some of these photography forums where all the mental midgets and the... The uh, toilet bug cockroaches hang out. It's like, I, I got the angry photographer. You know, he's contradictory because he's always talking about classic prime lenses with low element counts. And then he go, he goes and praises a high element count to Tamron. Or... There is no contradiction because there are three classes of lenses in there. You know, it's like that little person's got big old muscles. Yeah, he's a humuncula. A hu I don't even correct pronounce it. No one ever uses that word in everyday speech. Hum humunc <laughs> humunculus, right? <laughs> you can't compare the uh, the svelte, yeah, that's a German word, right? The svelte uh, bodybuilding little person with, you know, Schwarzenegger, Lou Frick, different class, you know? I can praise both of them at the same time. It's like, that person in that class is awesome. That person in that class is awesome. They're both awesome, but they are in different classes. Same damn principle. Did I make myself clear? This is all existential, empirical, logical, and forthright, straight up, sensible. 
you know? Did you think I was being illogical? Apparently some of those people, the cockroaches on the photo forum boards, thought I was being illogical. Turns out I was being extra rational and logical. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for watching this video so much. If you like this video and drop me a buck or two, go tell me to jump off a cliff. <laughs> Boom. Whatever makes you happy.